So it's the next day. Uh, as you guys can see, it's like 8 p.m. now, maybe 8.30. Um, went to the junkyard earlier today and was able to get this middle piece, but the uh, side pieces on that car were bent. That was the only car. Um, we went to a bunch of other junkyards on the same street, but by the time we got through with all of those, none of those had any IS 350s or 250s at all. Um, just the one that we went to, and they only had one, so, you know, that was all we could get out with. But hood struts are done. Started hammering away at this dent, but it's gonna need more than that. Uh, not sure if we can call this day successful or not, but uh, as you guys can see in the uh, small clips that I, um, you know, put on, put before this, uh, as you guys saw from the clips, um, the, uh, the dent is a little bit further out. It still needs a lot of work to be, you know, fully f hashed out. Uh, so I'm going to buy a dent puller kit from Harbor Freight tomorrow, work on that. Uh, see if I can get it a little bit closer. The front, we hoped to find all of the pieces today at the junkyard. We did not. And we realized that the front bumper support that uh, the guy who sold us the car, the guy, the one that he gave us uh, was for a BMW. He works on a lot of BMWs. So he accidentally gave us a BMW front bumper support and he doesn't have the Lexus one. So um, there was one at the junkyard that we went to today and I didn't really give it very close inspection because I didn't, I wasn't aware until we had pulled the bumper support out of the trunk, the trunk. And so, uh, now I'm going to go back there tomorrow to see if I can get that. And then I'm also going to hunt for those pieces, um, that, uh, we were supposed to get today. I ordered a couple from, uh, Lexus dealer, uh, about an hour away. Um, I don't know how quickly they're going to get them though. That's the thing. So if I can find it at a junkyard, I can just cancel the order and be fine. So, um, yeah, with that being said, I'll just connect this to tomorrow's video. Day three, I am back at the junkyard that I was at yesterday. They only have one IS 250, but, um, as you guys saw in the uh, previous clip, we don't have bumper support and I see it hanging off right here. So I'm praying that it's not bent. If this, if it's not, then I'm going to pick that up. And I think this car might have wheel sensors. So we'll see. So, uh, as you guys can see the bumper support is here, but it's ripped up on this side and, uh, this side as well. And, you know, it's obviously not in good enough condition. I can take it back, but I'm just gonna record a couple clips so that I have an idea of where this thing is gonna go when it comes back to the house because I don't have this piece here. So I think that means I'm gonna have to buy that as well if I want the bumper support to sit correctly. Um, but wheel speed sensors are also gone. They're about to crush this bad boy. Um, some guy was getting it ready earlier, but uh, as you guys can see, Wheel sensors are completely gone. Uh, no. Dang near everything's gone, man. I've determined that my speed sensor issue after going back and looking at the codes is only affecting the passenger side speed sensor in the front. So um, that saves me from having to buy both sides. I'm going to take a look at it again closer um, so that I can see if there's any like loose wiring or anything. Hopefully that you know, can fix it um, without me having to buy a new speed sensor and put that in because that's um, a lot of work to kind of do that. But um, if not, then I'm just gonna buy a new one off of eBay and, you know, call it a day.